Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about how to install QRadar Manage Host and how to add it in the deployment. Before going to start the installation of Manage Host, let's first understand what is QRadar Manage Host. So basically a QRadar Manage Host is a non-console server which is designed to perform specific functions. You can identify the functionality of Manage Host using the appliance type or appliance ID. There are multiple types of Manage Host such as Event Collector, Event Processor, Flow Processor, Event Flow Processor, Data Node, etc. A QRadar appliance type is denoted by four characters called Appliance ID. For example, a 15xx is an Event Collector, a 16xx is an Event Processor and so on. Now the question comes that why do we need Manage Host in the deployment? We know that an all-in-one system performs collection of events and flows. It also does normalization, correlation, aggregation, performing responses and rest of the QRadar functions. To get more information about AIO, please refer the QRadar architecture video. The link mentioned in the video description. As the deploy scales and grows, AIO system can become overloaded with all the tasks to perform and it is suggested to add manage host to move certain function on different host. As you can see on the screen, let's say one host will only collect the event, other host will only process the event. Similarly, you can also add another host which can only collect the flows. By doing this, you can scale your QRR SIEM deployment to process higher incoming events or flow rates. In short, for greater flexibility over data collection and event processing, Build a distributed IBM QRadar deployment by adding non-console managed hosts. In this video, I will show you how to install an event processor and event collector and how to add this host in the deployment. You can follow the same procedure for other managed hosts. You can refer the link mentioned in the video description for the system requirement for installing managed host. Now let's begin with the installation of event processor. To install the event processor, you need to download the ISO file from the IBM Fix Central. Once you open the link, provide the product name, that is IBM Security QRadar SIEM. Later, select the desired version. Here we are doing the installation of IBM QRadar 7.5.0. After that, select the browse for fixes to continue and select the ISO. It will direct to the latest ISO file. To download the ISO image, use IBM credentials. The link also provides the SHA-256 of the file to compare the integrity with the downloaded ISO. Here we are doing the appliance installation on the virtual machine. And for that, we are specifying the resource details. You need to define this specification according to your deployment. We already discussed this part during the AIO installation. You can find the link mentioned in the video description. Once we accept the license agreement, the appliance installation window pops up. Select the type of installation. To elaborate more on remaining types like high availability appliance, app host appliance and data gateway appliance, we will provide separate video. You can subscribe to our channel for the notifications. Let us proceed with the appliance installation. Next is to select the installation type. Here we are doing the event processor installation. Once the installation type is selected, specify the type of setup that is normal setup. Then select a time zone. Click next, then time zone city according to your geo. Then select internet protocol. Here I am using IPv4 hence selected the same. Select the management interface and click next. Then specify the configuration details such as hostname, IP address, DNS, gateway, etc. We observe warning as hostname is not valid. Ensure to provide fully qualified domain name to rectify the warning. Click on next, enter the root password. Click on finish. Here it verifying the network configuration and completing the setup. So now installation of event processor is completed successfully. You can verify all the details like product, appliance type, IP, version, 
using the command that is slash opt slash curada slash bean slash myver hyphen v. Now we will see how to add event processor in the deployment. Before that, these are the prerequisite to add the host in the deployment. First, software versions for all Curadar appliance in your deployment must be at same version and fixed pack level. For example, if your console is installed with a version 750 UP1, the managed host needs to be on the same version that is 750 UP1. Second, to replicate the state and configuration data, ensure that you have a minimum bandwidth of 100 Mbps between the IBM Curator console and all managed host. Third, must be able to telnet to port 22 bidirectionally between console and managed host. Just a note, before adding the host in the deployment, you can SSH to host normally using the PuTTY. However, after you add the host in the deployment, then access to this managed host is restricted and can be possible through console. First, you can SSH to the console and from it to the managed host. Currently, this host is not part of deployment, hence accessible through SSH. Let's add the host in the deployment. First, log in to the console GUI. On the navigation menu, click admin. In the system configuration section, Click System and License Management. On the Deployment Actions menu, click Add Host. As you click on the Add Host option, Add Manage Host window pops up. Specify the IP and password of the Manage Host. As per your requirements, you can select these options that is, Remote Tunnel Initiation and Network Address Translation. Click Add. The add process will start and the process can be seen on the screen. After successfully adding the managed host, that is the event processor here, you can verify it from admin, system and license management tab. Please note, whenever you add or remove the managed host, you need to perform the deploy changes. As mentioned earlier, let's try to SSH manage host, that is the event processor directly which will not succeed and connection is possible via console. Now, how to install event collector and how to add it in the deployment. Installation of event collector is same as that of event processor only. You need to select the event collector instead of event processor as you can see on the screen. Add host procedure for the event collector is same as the event processor. I have already added the event collector in the deployment. While adding the event collector, you will see the window Modify Event Collector Appliance Connection. You need to specify this as after collecting the event, where to forward the event for processing. It may be event processor or console. Post this, perform deploy changes. So now we are done with the installation and addition of event processor and event collector. Following this process, you can install and add any type of host in the deployment. To learn more about Curator SIEM, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.